what's going on guys I have a review to uh, bring to you guys I got this drone in the mail it's the unique breeze 4k um, it's gonna give you my pluses and negatives my positives and negatives uh, great drone um, I'm just gonna read some specs um, 4K stunning video and pictures with breathtaking 4K ultra high definition and ultra clear 13 megapixel stills. Easy to use, no flying experience necessary to take dramatic aerial group photos and videos. Simply pick from five automated flight modes to get the shot of your choice. Selfie, pilot, orbit, journey, and follow me. Safe to fly with built-in indoor positioning system to allow Breeze to hold its position. Um... Social download the app on your mobile device, uh, like to Facebook and whatnot, doing live stream to Facebook. Upgraded one year warranty guarantees against manufacturer defects from original date of purchase. <clears throat> I purchased mine off of Amazon using Prime, and I have a very good reason, and I'll explain that, uh, why I do that. I don't purchase, I mean, uh, they sell them at Best Buy. And I'm sure if I bought it from Best Buy and had some sort of issue um, that they would work with me. Um, what happened was I got this thing in Thursday. Today's Sunday. I got it in Thursday. I flew it some that night, tried it out. I've got that low light video. Um, I'll show you in just a moment. Um, Friday. I charged it up and um, I come home Friday afternoon and uh, I did some uh, video a little bit of sunset and it seemed to do fine there was a couple of features I couldn't get to work right didn't quite know why uh, Friday night I tried to I checked for a firmware update and it said that there was a firmware update and I tried to do it and it failed um, I tried it again and it failed it would download to my phone but never would upload to the drone it said that uh, not enough not not sufficient battery life I thought that was kind of weird so I shut it off started it back up um, and it allowed me to fly it so I said okay no big deal no harm no foul maybe there's something wrong with their firmware problem uh, firmware update um, so right after that I took it right outside flew it around the yard for just a moment seemed well, well later on uh, later on Saturday about lunchtime uh, me and my family were about to leave to go somewhere and I wanted to take the drone with me because we were going down um, To an area. I just wanted to just in the parking lot fly it around get some get some b-roll for for my YouTube videos um, And I fly it up and I go there's a tree right out my yard uh, and Flying over the tree. I don't have the video to show you and here's why I'm flying over the tree. It's probably about 70 feet in the air um, that's about it it was an oak tree I mean it's not super high but yeah about 70 feet in the air I was directly over the top of this tree and all of a sudden I lose signal and it will not reconnect and it just sat there and it hovered and I'm like okay when the battery runs down if nothing else you know, all, right, all else fails fail safe all else fails, battery runs down, it's just going to do a return to home. It's going to fly up to the, uh, I had it set at 100 foot, it'll run up to 100 foot and it's going to run back to me. I mean, it was right there. I could see it. Um, so I sat there and I waited and I waited and I waited and all of a sudden this thing starts coming down and it's just like, it's just doing this like crazy and uh, probably about 40 feet. 30 to 40 feet it just died prop stopped and it come flying and it hit a couple of limbs and it slammed and hits the ground now this was the, the flight was on a brand new battery I was only 70 feet from me using my iPhone I had flown just testing it around doing the uh, sunset the night before I had flown it up into uh, about 160 feet with my phone with that phone so I don't know what happened it just it just lost Wi-Fi signal and it wouldn't reconnect um, but it hit the ground and it 
it did some damage and uh, I snapped some pieces back on it the uh, the GPS cover had popped off no big deal it snapped right back on um, the camera sensors on the bottom it cracked the glass uh, uh, it had it had broken some props and I began putting it back together uh, the whole top section really was kind of snapped away I'm sorry the bottom section was snapped away and it, it's still kind of crazy um, it cracked the arm right there I don't know if you can see that in the camera maybe so so uh, the two of these ah, two of the landing gear things they just you rotate a couple of them you just rotate them and they pop off they had popped off I had to find those but I did find them so I get it all back together and I change the props I'm like alright um, the glass part I may have to buy I looked online I was like well I can buy a plastic undercover so I'm not even gonna sweat it maybe this was my fault so then I tried to power it up and I don't know if you can see the light inside I, I don't know if you can see it or not but uh there's a light inside that I'm sorry I'm actually wrong but that shows you that it's on and it tries to come on and that's great but it won't stay on used to you'd hold that for about two two seconds or whatever and it would beep 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 and kick on and go it won't do that anymore I can hold that button down and my phone will read a Wi-Fi signal but it's not reading any battery serve battery battery signal or anything uh, and it's not the batteries because I boosted both batteries up they charge the same amount of time um, no issues for the battery um, so that's what happened so with that I'm gonna tell you my thoughts of it right aside from that I'm thinking possibly the firmware update maybe this was something they fixed I don't know I've had people on reviews I've listened to them and they said that when the battery runs down to a certain level it'll just return to home mine didn't I don't know why so I'm just gonna I'm gonna tell you the the pros and cons all right so the video I got was pretty pretty great uh, for a non gimbal drone it shoots in 4k uh, it's unstabilized 4k and it is shaky as crap I mean it's it's um it's basically unusable unless you have some super high horsepower uh, video editing software uh, I use Filmora Wondershare or Wondershare Filmora however you say that and it is not enough to take the shaky out plus I can't get the horizon set right in 1080 video stabilized it keeps the horizon set it's awesome it's great video uh, you can pick these up refurbished on Amazon for about 169 um, matter of fact this was a refurbished model so that may have been the issue maybe uh, the refurbished model uh, just just went wrong but I am uh, they're gonna they're gonna send me a credit and I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy another one or if I'm just gonna put that credit toward uh, a spark uh, we'll see we'll see how that goes I will update you on what I do when I do it um, the camera will move it's pretty if you're using a pad I've got a, a a Samsung Galaxy uh, e E10 I uh, bought at Walmart for about 160 bucks a while back and uh, operating this from that you got a huge screen you can see it well it's very reactive and the, the, the part where you swipe to move the camera uh, up and down is is so large that you can get some really smooth motions out of it uh, you can turn some of the speeds down to get some very gradual movement and it works great the GPS locks in solid I had zero issues with the GPS matter of fact when I lost signal that thing just sat there and the wind was blowing it just sat there until it started coming down uh, indoor flight first night I got it uh, tested that out I think I've still got some clips if I do I'll throw them in uh, indoor flight was awesome there was a moment that it drifted one time and uh, uh, I just set it down wasn't a big deal but uh, uh, it in low light indoors is not good make sure it's well lit because uh, it's a camera that you it uses uh, and 
I did run into this. Try, my carpet, it's not like shag carpet. It's not really thick carpet. Uh, but I have carpet. And this thing sits um, roughly an inch from the ground when not even an inch. It's about probably three quarters of an inch from the floor uh, when it's sitting down and the carpet was causing some interference and it would not take off. I, I had to put it on a hard surface or lay, lay something hard uh, on the carpet for it to take off from like the box, the case. Okay, so this is the drone. This is how big it is. Uh, it is really small. Uh, I mean, it's amazing for what it is. Uh, if, if the problem of that I just had, if they fix that, that'd be great. Uh, here's the battery charger. Uh, mine come with two batteries. They lasted roughly about 10 minutes each. I wasn't flying crazy. Uh, I was actually doing more like hovering and easing around. I had the, the speed set really slow and gradual. Um, so that's what. The um, it comes with a USB cable. It comes with this case, this hard case. Now, I, let me. There's something I don't like about it. I do like that they sent a hard case to keep it in. That's amazing. The problem I have is I have a Phantom, and the charger and everything is all inside the case. And I, I've got an inverter in my truck, and when I go to get some footage and, and film things. Um, I've got everything I need. If I burn one battery out, I go ahead and put that dude on a charge, throw the new one in, uh, up and down, reserve it as much as I can. Um, the extra battery will fit in this case, but the prop guards and the charger, nothing else will fit in here. Uh, you can cram the prop guards in, and well, I take that back. They will kind of fit if you cram them in. Um, an extra battery, and you can wiggle the cables around, but it's, it's not very efficient uh, to just snap this thing open and pull the drone out. Uh, the whole purpose of me having a small drone, uh, I want something I can just snatch out and go. Uh, I'm, I'm really leaning toward the Spark now because this is only Wi-Fi signal from your phone. At least with the Spark, I could upgrade later to the controller and get some more range. Um, what else? Uh, the footage was good. The camera was great. I've heard people talk about when they do the stabilized footage that it is darker and like murky looking. Um, I, I did notice a little bit of that, but it wasn't a big deal. Um, the, uh, the vivid settings on the app were uh, amazing. Um, like I said, I have a Phantom 3 4K. It's not a Pro, but it's a 3 4K. It does great footage. It does some amazing footage. I just needed something to catch that quick this and that, right? As I go, keep it in my vehicle and keep it rolling. That Phantom is just a little bulky to take around. Uh, would love to have a Mavic Pro, but I'm not spending that kind of money. I didn't spend the money I got on the Phantom. Uh, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna spend any more. Uh, it's just not that worth it to me. Um, if, but if I did, I'm leaning toward more of the Spark. I want the most compact one that I can get. Um, Let's see, it flew great. Uh, the weight is nothing. Uh, without trying to jumble things in the box, if you just have the drone and just have the extra battery, it is really easy to snap that box open. I had heard people talk about how hard it was to open this box. Um, there's a spot right there, I don't know if you can see that, that it says push. So you hold the box, you push, and it pops right open. I don't know what the problem is. So, um, there is some instructions inside the box that I really hadn't even paid attention to until just this second, but it gives you some warnings, and some instructions for best performance, uh, replace damaged propellers in time, always keep the glass clean for best performance on the bottom, mine's broken, uh, install propeller protection, the prop guards, disable GPS and use pilot mode with indoor positioning system. Um, but yeah, the orbit mode worked really cool. The follow me uh, had some quirks. I tried to, I used it in the yard following my body walking uh, and it worked pretty good. That was even at night. I tried to use it on my Jeep while uh, that Friday night and I just, just couldn't get it. Uh, that time, instead of my phone, 
I was trying to use the lock on and it would go green and you can do some searching on that. I can't show you because my drone won't work. Um, so it has some glitchiness to it. Maybe the firmware updates uh, will fix all that. And like I said, I, I may, I may go ahead and get another. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Uh, I really kind of want the spark now. I want something with a little more range. Um, I may just have to take the, the voucher for this, which is only 160 bucks, and, and I, I may turn that around and grab a spark. Or then again, I may just get another one and uh, give it another shot because I really, I really want to like this drone. Uh, the footage is worth it. The ease of use is worth it as long as it works. Um, losing signal and it not returning to home as of default uh, maybe that was a setting that I didn't see in the app. Uh, I'm used to using the Phantom. Maybe I just overlooked it. I don't know. I thought I thoroughly researched and, and figured it out before I ever left the ground with it. Uh, but I really, man, I walked out there and I was just holding my phone up, trying my best to, to grab on. It's almost like the Wi-Fi just went out on it. Um, but I don't know. I'm really not sure. But that's it. It's the Breeze 4K. Um, it may be for you. I mean, if, you, if you're not worried about flying over trees and, and, and getting a little ways away from you. And, and like I said, what I was doing was right in front of me. I wasn't going crazy. Uh, that Friday uh, night, or, yeah, Friday night, the, I, the Friday afternoon, uh, the first uh, daylight that I had it out, I flew it up over a, a, a water tower that was much higher than what, I, what happened right here in my front yard. Um, so I, I really do like it. Um, I love it actually. I'm really bummed that um, it is like it is right now. Even crashing it and cracking it, you know, I was hoping this thing still worked. I would never send it back, but because it just doesn't work, that was a that was a game changer right there to me. That was uh, no good, no bueno. Um, so there it is, guys. And basically, uh, you can use your phone. Totally, you totally can. Uh, like I said, uh, my phone had worked the day before just fine. So, and uh, this thing, it is a little thick, slightly. Um, I would say maybe two and a quarter inches, just ballparking in my mind. Um, it's a hard plastic. Uh, it's a little bulky and I've got a, a laptop type bag, a really expensive laptop bag that I use for my daily carry around because it's very often that I've got my laptop with me or my pads or whatever, uh, my iPad or my Samsung tablet. So I like the laptop pad because it's padded where you put it in. So stuff in this in that spot, it's a little bulky when you put it on, but it works. Um, it's not out of the question. If I was going on a trip, I wouldn't be afraid to do that. Um, what else can I say? I guess that's about it. Um, oh, you to get, a lot of people don't talk about this. To get the video off of the drone, it's got a 16 gig on board or something like that. Maybe it was 14, almost like it was an odd number. Uh, gigabyte hard drive built onto it. You can download it directly to your phone or tablet or, and you can do both. Download it to your tablet if you want to jack around with it. It'll allow you to download a compressed version of it, which is uh, a way lower quality, but it's not bad. I mean, I, I actually um, I actually uploaded a video to Facebook uh, that I edited on my tablet using, um, I, I want to say, the Filmora app uh, video editor. But um, it was real quick, you know, just, just threw some stuff together, be flying around the, the uh, uh, water tower. And then the next day I sat down and actually edited one and put it on YouTube with way better quality. But to pull it off, you turn, you've got to turn on the drone. There's a USB port on the side right here. Uh, there's also like a little dot there. I think it's just for this to hold on to. I was trying to figure out. It almost looks like there's a reset button in there, but I, I, I could be totally wrong. But anyway, you hook that uh, micro USB right there, hook it up to your computer and turn on the drone and it will link up and just like a hard drive and it'll say breeze or unknown or something i can't even remember and you can just drag your stuff right off of it um all in all it's a good drone uh as long as they get that bug worked out uh 
I'm pretty sure that they will. Or maybe it was just mine that did it. I don't know. I'm not going to give it a bad review because I was extremely, extremely happy with it until that very, very moment. Uh, it hit the ground. Like, even after it hit the ground, I was like, man, I hope I don't have to wait on parts to put this thing back together because I really like to, you know, flying it and getting footage. So, all right. That's all I got. Uh, hope you like like and subscribe if you want to get more uh i'll do some more product details as they come if i end up getting another one i will do a better review i won't kill this one but i'll just do a follow-up uh i'll try that out and i will get out in the yard and i'm gonna test out that that feature after i do all firmware updates and uh let the battery run out right there at the ground and see if it's going to land itself or, or move and go back to home whatever so i'll do a follow-up so like and subscribe if you want to get that uh if i do end up trading this for a spark i will do a review of the spark as soon as i get it um i was actually going to do a review on this thing today and show you it in flight with my phantom uh showing you how rock solid it was i just never made it that far so all right guys help me out hit the like button uh really help me out subscribe share with your friends uh share on your forums uh i'm not the greatest with drones, but I try. Uh, I'm fixing to try to go back and uh, rebuild some of our older ones.